When Ajna is working well, you trust your inner wisdom. When it is blocked, you feel close-minded. It is also related to visualization and imagination. Hello yogis, welcome to today's class. I am Ekta Singh. We are going to practice yoga for our sixth chakra, that is Ajna chakra or third eye chakra. We are going to do an amazing meditation towards the end. So practice it till the end to know more benefit about this class. If you are liking the series, do mention something about it in the comment section. Let's get started. Bend your head over to the right side. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, bend the head to the left side. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Lift the chin up towards the ceiling. Look up. Inhale, center. Exhale, bring the chin down to the chest. Inhale, center. Lift the chin up. Look up. Inhale, center. Exhale, bring the chin down to the chest. Inhale, bring the chin back to center. And exhale out here. Great body. Now bring your thumb in front of you. So you keep your tip of the thumb at the level of your, um, the space between your eyebrows. You are going to keep your thumb at that level and we are going to move our thumb away from the face, away from the face and we will continuously keep looking at it and then slowly we are going to bring it closer, 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 bring it almost in between the eyebrows and again we are going to move it away. We are going to do this five times, okay? This is very good for your eyesight as well, not just for the chakra, for your eyesight also this is a very good exercise. So let's start moving the finger away, keep moving at the tip of your thumb. Try not to blink your eyes as much as possible. You will blink but try not to too much. Bring it closer, nice and slow. Again take that finger away. You have to do it as slow as possible, keeping your hand steady, gaze steady. Slowly bring it closer. Again, move it away. Bring it closer. Two more times. Move the right hand away. Bring it closer. Last one. Move the right hand away. Bring it closer. And put your right hand down. Once you're done, relax your hands, rub your palms together, close your eyes. Create heat in your palm. And then cover your eyes with the palms. Open your eyes, soak in some heat. And gently relax your palms down. Good. Now come into all fours position. Palms right below the shoulders. Knees right below the hips for all fours. And let's do some cat and cow stretch. Inhale, lift the head up, chest up, tailbone out. Exhale, round your back, pull the belly in. Look at your navel. Inhale, head up, chest up, tailbone out. Exhale, round your back, pull the belly in, look at your navel. Two more times, inhale, head up, chest up, tailbone out. Exhale, round your back, pull the belly in, look at your navel. Last one, inhale, head up, chest up, tailbone out. Exhale, round your back, pull the belly in, look at your navel. Inhale, come back to neutral spine. Now tuck in your both toes and lift your hips up coming into inward 10 feet. Lift your hips up into inward 10 feet. Hold your inverted knee for five counts. 
push your chest towards the thighs, push the heels down towards the mat. If your back is super rounded, then bend your knees just a little bit, push your tailbone up towards the ceiling and hold yourself here for five. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, one. And so you walk your palms back towards your feet. Walk, walk, walk. Walk your palms back. Walk back, walk back. Have a slight bend in your knees. Use your both hands to hold your ankles. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Pull yourself gently towards your thighs. Have your knees bent. You don't have to worry about straightening. Hold yourself here in this position for five, four, three, two, one. Now slowly walk your palms forward towards the front of the mat. Walk, 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 walk forward. And exhale, drop the knees, chest and chin down on the ground. Inhale, slide forward, take a cobra. Exhale, lift the hips up. Get into inverted V. Hold yourself here once again for five counts. Look at your knees. Stay for five. Keep breathing. You can even look in between your eyebrows or keep your focus in between the eyebrows. Four. Keep breathing. Three. Two. One. So you walk your palms back towards your feet once again. Walk your palms back. Grab your ankles. Use your both hands to grab the ankles. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, bring your head and chest closer towards the knees. Bring yourself closer. Stay here in this position. For five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, walk your palms forward. Coming into plank pose, head to toe straight line. Exhale, drop the knees, chest in between the palm and chin down. Inhale, slide forward, taking a cobra. Exhale, lift the hips up, get into inverted V. Lift the hips up. Hold your inverted V for five counts. One, push your chest even closer towards your thighs. Two, three, four and five slight bend in your knees this time step your both feet forward to the front of the mat walk your both feet forward to the front bring your head and chest close to the knees and exhale out here inhale circle the arms up towards the ceiling joining the palms above your chest or above your head exhale bend forward and down drop your both palms next to the feet Inhale, halfway lift, slide your palm on the shin, hold yourself there. Drop the palms down next to your feet. Take the legs behind into plank pose, head to toe straight line. Exhale, drop the knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide forward, cobra. Exhale, lift the hips up, inverted V. Hold yourself here, look at your knees. For five, four, three, two, one. Slide bend in your knees, look in between your palms, step your both legs forward to the front of your mat. Bring the head and chest close to the knees and exhale out. Inhale, circle the arms up towards the ceiling. Join your palms above your head. Last round, exhale, bend forward and down. Drop your palms next to the feet. Bring the head and chest close to the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, slide your palm on the shin. Exhale, release the palms down on the mat. Take your both legs behind into plank pose. Exhale, drop the knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide forward, cobra. Exhale, lift the hips up. Get into inverted V. Hold here for five counts. One, two, three, four, 
five. Slide bend in your knees, look in between your palm. Hop or step forward. Bring your both legs to the front of the mat. Exhale, bring the head and chest close to the knees. Inhale, circle the arms up towards the ceiling, joining the palms above your head. Bring the palms in front of your chest and exhale out. Now bend your both knees, swing your both arms up into Utkatasana. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, bend forward and down, drop your palms next to your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, slide your palm on the shin, flat back position. Exhale, release the palms down on the ground, take your legs behind in the plank pose, head to toe straight line. Exhale, drop the knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide forward, cobra. Exhale, lift the hips up, inverted V. Now rotate your back heel, your left heel down at a 45 degree angle. And set the right leg forward in between the palm. Lift the arms up, head up, chest up, into crescent, into warrior one pose. Look forward at the point in front of you and hold yourself here. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Now slowly swing your both arms by your sides. Keep your both arms by your sides. Lean forward, 45 degree angle. Put weight on your front foot and lift your back leg parallel to the ground into warrior three pose. Virbhadrasana three, lift your left leg parallel and hold yourself here. Find a point to balance. Five, four, three, two, and stand up straight. Putting your left leg next to the right thigh into three pose. Left foot next to the right thigh. Stand wherever you're standing. I have just changed my position so that you can see what you have to do next. Left foot next to the right thigh. Push your right foot into the thigh and, sorry, push your left foot into the thigh, thigh into the foot. Hold yourself here in this position. Join the palms in front of your chest or you can extend your arms up towards the ceiling and stay here in this position. Find a point to focus. Squeeze your abdomen in, chest out. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Gently drop your left foot down next to the right leg. Palms in front of your chest. Inhale, bend your both knees, swing the arms up, Utkatasana. Exhale, bend forward and down, drop your palms next to the feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release the palms down on the ground, take your legs behind into plank pose. Exhale, drop the knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide forward, Cobra. Exhale, lift the hips up, inverted V. Rotate your right leg 45 degree out. Step the left foot forward in between the bum. Warrior one pose. Inhale, lift the arms up, head up, chest up. Keep your arms parallel to each other. Look forward at the point in front of you. Left knee bent, right leg straight for five, four, three, Two, one. Bring your palms by your sides. Swing your arms by your sides. Bend forward 45 degree angle. Put weight on your front leg. Lifting the right leg parallel to the ground. And hold yourself here. Stay in this position. Keep breathing. For five. Four. Three. Two. One, and slowly stand up straight, putting your right foot next to the left thigh. Put your right foot next to the left thigh. Good. Keep your spine tall. You can keep it next to the thigh, you can keep it next to the calf, wherever you are comfortable. Join the palms in front of your chest or stretch the arms up towards the ceiling. 
and hold yourself here in this position. For five, four, three, two, and one. Gently release your foot and palms down. Once again, bend your both knees, swing the arms up, coming into Utkatasana or chair pose. Inhale. Exhale. Bend forward and down. Drop your palms next to the feet. Inhale. Halfway lift. Slide your palm on the shin, flat back position. Release the palms down on the ground. Take your legs behind into plank pose. Exhale. Drop the knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide forward, cobra. Exhale, lift the hips up, inverted V. Now lift your right leg straight up towards the ceiling. Inhale, push the right leg higher, even more up. Exhale, step the right leg forward in between the palm. If you're somebody who finds balancing difficult, I want you to have at least one block. If possible, keep two blocks with you. You're going to find the next part super easy if you keep blocks. If you don't have blocks, no problem. We'll manage somehow. Now slowly lift your arms up, head up, chest up, into crescent lunge. Arms parallel to the ears. Back heel is above the ground. Find a point and focus at it. For five. Four. Stomach pull day. Three. Two, one. Slowly bend forward and down. Put your both palms on the block if you have one. If you don't have it, put your palms on the ground. Lift your left leg parallel to the ground into warrior three pose. Same thing, we did it last time. Lift your left leg parallel to the ground. Now from here, we are going to get into half moon pose or Ardha Chandrasana. So you start turning your left toe to the left side. Turn your chest also to the left side. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling and hold yourself here. If you feel it's very difficult to lift the left arm up, keep the left palm on your waist. Try to turn your chest towards the left side and hold here. For five, four, Three, two, one. Slowly stand up straight, tapping your left foot next to the right leg. Just to balance, keep your left toe touching the ground next to the right leg. Stand up straight. Now wrap your left thigh on top of your right thigh. So when you are wrapping, so either you go for one wrap, my foot is hanging, or you can go for double bind. Just give me a second. You can go for double bind. You can wrap your toe behind the foot. Or if you feel this is too much, keep your toe touching the ground. You're still going to be have you're still going to have good balance if you keep your toe down. Okay, let's try this out. Wrap your left thigh on top of the right thigh. It can give you better way to balance yourself if you squeeze your thighs together. Bend your both knees, sink the hip low. Left arm on top of your right arm and hold yourself here. Left elbow on top of your right elbow and stay for five, four. Keep focusing at the point. Bend your both knees, thighs squeezing together. Three, two, and one. Slowly unwrap your leg, unwrap your hands down. Very nice. Keep standing to the front of your mat. Bend your both knees, swing the arms up into Utkatasana. Inhale. Exhale, bend forward and down. Drop your palms next to the feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Slide your palm on the shin. Exhale, release the palms down on the mat. Take your legs behind into plank pose, head to toe straight line. Drop the knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide forward, cobra. Exhale, lift the hips up, get into inverted V. Now lift your left leg straight up towards the ceiling. Inhale, push your left leg higher. 
Exhale, step the left foot forward in between the palm. Crescent lunge, inhale, lift the arms up, head up, chest up. Find a point in front of you and keep looking at it. Front knee bent, back leg straight. Stay here for five. Lengthen your spine, squeeze the abdomen, four, three, two, one. Slowly bend forward and down. Put your both hands on top of the blocks. And lift your right leg parallel to the ground, coming into warrior three pose. Hold yourself here. Make sure your palms are below your shoulders. If you keep it too far or keep it too close, you will find it difficult to balance. But exactly below your shoulders. Now turn your chest to the right side into Ardha Chandrasana. Turn your chest to the right. Right hand either on your waist or lift it up towards the ceiling. Right toe is also pointing to the right side. Hold yourself here. Five. Four. Keep lifting your right leg higher. Three. Two. One. Drop your right foot next to the left leg. Stay on your tippy toes. Now wrap your right thigh on top of your left thigh. Double bind or single bind, whatever is convenient for you. Keep your both knees bent. Bring your right elbow on top of your left elbow, Garudasan out. And hold yourself here in this position. For five, four, three, two, and one. So you unwrap your arms and your legs. Very nice. Let's come down on the knees. Come down on your knees. Come down. Now, let's keep something under the knee if you have sensitive knee. It's a good option to keep a cushion under your left knee. Open your right leg to the right side. Right knee bent. Keep it slightly away so that it is not exactly 90 degree angle. Little more than 90 degree on your right knee. Now we are going to push the hip towards the right heel. Push your hip towards the right heel so that you get some stretch in your inner thighs. And inhale, lift yourself back up. Again, push your hip towards the right heel. Inhale, lift yourself back up. Again, three more times. Push it towards the right heel. And inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, hip towards the heels. Inhale, up. Last one. Bring your hip towards the right heel and hold yourself here. For five. Four, keep your chest up. You're not leaning on your right side. Three. Two. One. And slowly come up. Now. If you have cushion, take the cushion or pillow, whatever you have around you. If you have a block, I want you to keep a block. I'll show you before you do it. Watch me. You're going to turn your left toe, the knee which is down. You're going to turn the, that, turn that toe inside. Take the block and sit down on top of the block and hold yourself here. So you are not on your knee. You are putting almost half of your weight on the block. And you are going to feel the stretch in your inner thighs. Okay, let's do this. Turn your left toe forward and sit down on top of a block or a cushion. You are not sitting on top of your left heel. Keep make, move your left heel forward. Move your left heel forward. Do not keep your left heel behind the hip. Instead, move it towards the front. You're sitting comfortably either on a pillow or on a block. Stay here in this position. Now bring your right hand to the inside of your right knee. Drop the right palm down on the ground. 
Lift your left arm up in the air. Bring your left arm close to the ear. And look over to your left side. Sit down comfortably on the block or a pillow. Do not sit on your heel. We are going to hold this for some time. That's why I'm asking you to sit comfortably. Stay here for 10. Look over to your left side. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and inhale slowly lift yourselves up you're continuously sitting on the pillow or your block now extend your right leg away extend the right leg to the right side extend it up make sure your left leg is forward you're not keeping it towards the back now slide your right hand on the right leg once again bend over to your right side as much as you're comfortable stay here for five Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, so you lift yourself up. Exhale, relax the palm down. Good. Now from here itself, we'll be getting into Kapodasana. So move your left foot a little to your left side. And come down on your hands and your right thigh. So that you come into Kapodasana on your left foot. Knee bent, right left knee bent, right leg straight. Left knee bent, right leg straight. Stay here in this position. Now if you are somebody who is finding it very difficult to hold this pose, you have a cushion, you have a pillow, you are going to put this under your right left hip actually. Put it under your left hip. And hold yourself here. Breathe. Stay. Now slowly walk your palms forward, forward, forward. Maybe you can drop your elbows down on the ground or maybe you can drop your forehead down. You can walk your palms even more forward, dropping the forehead down on the ground. And hold yourself here. Stay in this position for five, four, Three, two, one, and slowly lift your head up, chest up, lift yourself up. Good. Now slowly turn yourself back to the center. Come on your knees, and this time bend your left knee. Bend your left knee. Keep the cushion or pillow with you, you're going to need it in some time. Keep your chest facing forward, left knee bent. If you're doing the other side, then you'll have to do it accordingly, do the opposite of what I say. Now slowly, bring your hip towards the heel. You're not bringing your chest towards the left side. Keep your chest to the center. Your chest is not moving, it's your hip that is moving towards the heel. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. Exhale. Push your hip towards the heel. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, three. Push your hip towards the heel. Inhale, come back to center. Two more. Exhale, push the hip towards the heel. Inhale, come back to center. Last one. Push the hip towards the heel and hold yourself here. Stay. For five, keep your chest at the center, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back to center. Now turn your right toe towards the front. Take the help of your hands to help you turn the right toe towards the front. Keep a pillow or cushion behind and sit down on top of that pillow or cushion that you have. Sit down comfortably. It might take a while to understand how to sit down comfortably. Once you have got the seat, take your left hand inside of the left leg. 
drop it down on the ground. Bring your right arm close to the ear. Lean over to your left side and look over to your right. Look to the right. Find a point and keep looking at it. For 10, 9, keep breathing. 8, keep pushing your left knee towards the back using your left elbow. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And inhale, slowly come back to center. Exhale, drop the palm down. Now we are going to take a potassium on the right side. So turn your right leg towards the right side. Adjust yourself in such a way that you come on your left thigh. Right knee bent, left leg straight. Right knee bent, left leg straight. Adjust yourself into Kapotasana or Pigeon. Now if you are finding it difficult to stay here, then keep a pillow or block under your right hip. And then you can try and walk your thumbs forward, dropping the elbows down on the mat. You can also walk your palms further and drop the forehead down on the ground. Make sure the thigh, left thigh is getting a lot of weight on it. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. And slowly walk yourself up, lifting the head up, chest up. Now, remove your block if you have any under your hip. Take your right leg behind. Tuck in your toes, lift the hips up, finding yourself into inverted V. Lift your hips up into inverted V. Hold yourself here. Now, while you are here in this position, I want you to focus at the tip of your nose. Keep your focus at the tip of your nose and stay here in this position for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly drop your knees down on the ground. Cross your ankles. Sit down on your hips and stretch the legs in front of you. Bring your both legs forward. For Paschimottasana. Now, take a deep breath in, lifting your both arms up towards the ceiling, inhale, exhale, bend forward and down, use your both hands to grab your leg wherever you reach. Keep your toes pointing towards the ceiling, spine tall, look forward at your toes, head up, chest up, tailbone out. Stay here in this position, you don't have to go too deep here, stay for five, four, Toes pointing up. Three, two, one. And inhale, so you lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the palms by your sides. Now, if you have blocks, keep your blocks next to your hips. Keep two blocks next to your hips. If you don't have blocks, you can continue using your hands next to your hips. Now, cross your both ankle. Bring your right ankle on top of your left ankle. Right ankle on top of left ankle. Put the weight on your hands and maybe you can lift your hip up. Try to lift your hip up. You are leaning forward. You are trying to keep your knees squeezed to your chest. Exhale. Drop the hip back down. Now straighten out your both legs up towards the ceiling. Keep your hands by your sides. Try to extend your leg forward in front of you. Hold yourself here. You can have your knees bent also, not a problem. Keep your chest lifting forward. Stay here for five. Squeeze the abdomen in. Four, three, two, one. Once again, bend your knee. Cross your ankles. Palms by your sides. Lift the hip up, leaning forward and down. Leaning forward. Squeeze your stomach in. Hold yourself here for five. Four, three, two, one. Bring your hips back down on the ground. Lift your legs up towards the ceiling into both poles. Navasana. Hold here for five. Four, three, two, 
Keep your heart pushing forward. Four, three, two, one. Cross your ankle once again. This is the last round. Thumbs by your sides. Lift the hips up and hold yourself here. Stay in this position for five, four, three, two, one. And slowly drop your hips back down. Lift your legs up into both poles and stay here in this position. Stay for five. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly so relax your legs down. Now from here, once again, cross your ankles. Bring the palms in front of you. Take your legs behind, getting into plank pose. Head to toe, straight line. Hold your plank for five counts. Keep your gaze at your nose tip and stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly roll your heels over to your right side. Lifting the left arm up towards the ceiling into side plank. And stay here. You can bring your left leg forward in order to support yourself. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop the palm down. Now come on to your left hand, rotate your both heels to the left side, lift the right arm up towards the ceiling, stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So let's drop the palms down. Drop your both knees down on the ground. Keep your feet, your knees, hip distance apart. Use your hands to support your back. Now, while you are taking a back bend, your drishti or your gaze will be at the tip of your nose. Okay, try to point your both eyes towards the tip of your nose. Push your hips forward, opening your chest. Look at the tip of your nose. Arch your back as much as you are comfortable. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come back to center. Drop your hips on top of your heels. Walk your palms forward. Drop your forehead down on the ground and relax yourself here for 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Slowly lift your head up, chest up, come out. Okay, let's sit into cross leg position for pranayama. Keep your back straight, both hands on your knees, eyes closed. Take a deep breath in through the nose, inhale, exhale out, inhale, exhale out. Inhale deeply. Kapal Bhati Pranayam. Start pumping your stomach. Continue pumping.
Exhale out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale deeply. Hold your breath. Focus in between eyebrows. Exhale out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale deeply. Second round of pumping. Begin. Exhale out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale deeply. Hold your breath. Focus in between eyebrows. Exhale out. Breathe normally on the long of prayer. Close your right nostril and thumb. Inhale, left one, two, three, four. Exhale, right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right one, two, three, four. Exhale, left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Inhale, left, one, two, three, four. Exhale, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right, one, two, three, four. Exhale, left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, left, one, two, three, four. Exhale, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right, one, two, three, four. Exhale, left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release the palms down. Uh... Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Rub your palms together, generate the heat. Place it on your eyes, open the eyes, look into darkness, and gently slide your palms down. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for joining the session.